Hey guys, welcome to Detonate. My name is Ethan, and today we're going to be going over how an acoustic guitar is made. Alright, so first thing first, this is a Taylor 914 CE, super awesome guitar. It's got a solid spruce top with uh, Indian rosewood back and sides, and an ebony fretboard, and sounds fantastic. First thing first, we're going to start from the headstock down to the guitar, and we're going to start right now with the headstock. So we have the tuning machines, the tuning keys, and we also have the truss rod and the truss rod cover. All right, so starting with the tuning machines, with the tuning machine, it kind of goes hand in hand with the tuning key itself. And um, every time you loosen the tuning key, it actually moves the eyelet on the, on the tuning machine itself. And the tuning machine actually, it's gonna go, it's gonna rotate and it's gonna loosen the string, loosening the pitch. And then you're gonna rotate it the other way, it's gonna actually tighten the pitch itself. And the next thing, a lot of people don't really understand what this little plastic piece is right here. Um, sometimes it's plastic. This one's actually made out of ebony itself. And you actually unscrew these here, and then the truss rod is underneath it. And that's, you'll adjust the truss rod accordingly. That's it for the head socket of the guitar. Now we're gonna move on to the neck. Um, and with the neck, we have just a few different things. Um, we have the, the nut, we have the frets, we have the fretboard, we have the fret markers, and we also have the truss rod. So first thing first, we have the nut here on the top of the guitar. They actually call this the end nut. They make it of a couple different materials on an acoustic guitar. Usually it's made out of bone, um, but the lower end acoustic guitars, they have plastic. Um, sometimes they're made out of graphite, um, but this one's made out of bone. So the next part we have on the acoustic guitar neck, um, the frets. That's the silver um, going all the way down on the, on the guitar. Um, a lot of times they're made out of steel, sometimes they're made out of a steel composite. The next is the fretboard. Um, this one's actually made of a really nice piece of ebony. Um, a lot of times it's usually rosewood or it's ebony. Usually the higher end guitar, since it's a little bit smoother on your fingers, people prefer to have ebony. Moving right along to the fret markers. Um, the fret markers or inlays, some people like to call it. And what they do is they kind of, uh, they don't leave you hanging. They kind of let you know where you're at on the guitar. Um, on this guitar, um, and most guitars, usually on the third fret, you see the first dot or the inlay, and then two frets after that, you see the next dot all the way up until you get to the 12th, um, then it goes down to, and you have nine, you're, you're on the nine. And lastly, on the neck of the guitar, we have the truss rod. And the truss rod is a very, very important piece to making sure that this guitar actually um, stays in tune. In some acoustic guitars, there's so much tension between the strings that um, you actually um, have to adjust two different truss rods. Um, there's about 50 to 60 pounds of pressure between, um, between here and here. And with the truss rod, it kind of like compensates compensates that and it combats that. So that's it for the neck and now we're going to move on to the body of the guitar. The body of the guitar is the most important part on the acoustic guitar. That's where you get all of your resonance, you get all your, your sound essentially. This guitar actually has electronics in it so um, you can plug it into a PA system or you can play it out at a gig or something. You also have the bridge, you have the saddle, you have the bridge pins, and you also have the top and the back and sides which make up a really big part. So first we have the electronics on the guitar. Um, we have three different controls on this specific um, guitar and model. A lot of different guitars, they're gonna have sometimes more, sometimes less. Next we have the bridge. It's really important to make sure you keep this guitar in a really, really climate controlled environment because humidity um, and, and any harsh kind of climate is actually gonna mess up the, the adhesive underneath the bridge. If that gets a little bit loose, it's just gonna naturally start pulling up and that'll just snap off. And next we have the bridge pins. The ebony on these bridge pins actually make a really, really big difference. Um, personally, I think it sounds a little bit warmer. Lastly, and it's definitely one of the most important parts, if not the most important part of your guitar, um, are what the woods are made of from the top, back, and sides. Um, this guitar is super, super awesome, and it actually has solid Indian rosewood back and sides um, with a solid spruce top. Higher end guitars, actually, they have higher end wood, definitely for sure. Um, the Indian rosewood back and sides is very sought after. And then some of the lower end guitars, they use kind of a ply, um, and they're, they're just lesser quality. That's it for this video. I hope you guys have a clear understanding on how an acoustic guitar is built. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please feel free to comment below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.